you should see like a filmy it'll come like to like a frothy whiteness at the top or like a little beigey creamy color that's when you know that it, okay it's time to stop boiling and then this is really hot so it'll be it won't look like that when you first pour it out but I let it cool it's been sitting here for about five minutes it'll start thickening up Now, I've already skipped some steps to make this video shorter for you. So what I've done is you want to have you a medium sized pot. You want to bring your water, two and a half cups of water to a full boil. When it comes to a full boil, you pour in one fourth cup of flax seeds. You let those boil at about three minutes. You stir you know, the flax seeds around, make sure they don't get all sticky to the pot. And then at about seven minutes, you take it out. You'll know when it's done, when it comes to like this, it'll start rising a little bit and it'll be like this frothy, uh, creamy whiteness at the top. That's when you know your flax seeds are done. Now you want to get a bowl. You want to have your bowl ready. You want to have everything set out. All sanitizers while I use gloves. So it reduces the amount of bacteria you want to use filtered water or distilled water because it reduces, it extends the shelf life and it reduces the chances of a bunch of bacteria rapidly growing on your product. So now that everything is in, I've strained it. I use a strainer and a cheesecloth. Today I just used a strainer so I did have a little bit of flax seeds that fell in, but that's okay because it's a natural homemade product. I don't care about that. Just making it for myself. Pour it into your bowl. It's gonna, it's gonna cool down. It's, and then it's gonna look like this. So don't be discouraged when you pour it inside of the strainer and you see it's a little runny, it's gonna thicken up once it cools. And I try to go through the process really fast. I don't let it sit too long because I don't want it to get too hard and hard, hard for me to stir. So what will, let me move this out of the way. What will happen now is next I will have my guar gum. Guar gum, as you can see, is a thickener it is an emulsion it's excuse me it's an emulsifier and it's kind of it has like conditional conditioning properties but what the emulsifier does is it it's like the gap in between the water and the oils and brings all of your ingredients together so a lot of times when you see products that have oil and water in it it has it has some type of emulsifier in it now guar gum and xanthan gum you can buy in the grocery store. But if you want something like emulsifying wax or BTMS, you have to purchase those things online. And this right here is that thing. I had this, I had this for a while now. I don't really, my personal preference, I don't prefer to, I use this in like my conditioners. I don't really use it in my gel because to me it's not thick enough and I have to back it up with raw gum. I just got this, um, for to show people that hey, you know, there is another one out there because guar gum is a little bit more expensive. You're gonna get a bag from the store, they're about eleven dollars at the store, versus this then thing gum. I got this from Walmart for about seven or eight dollars and it had 21 packs of these. Now uh Xanthan gum, what you're gonna do with your Xanthan gum? You're gonna get a completely different pot, or you use the same pot if you wash it out. You're going to get a cup of water, let the water come to a full boil. And then you're gonna put a half a teaspoon of guar or xanthan gum in the water. But you have to stir it really quickly because it'll clump up. So once you let it sit there, which I try not to let mine sit there too long, you let it sit there to get, you know, really jelly. But this is where you're going to add your oil. So I'm going to use a tablespoon of vegetable glycerin. Tablespoon of 
apricot oil. A half a tablespoon of coconut oil. I usually melt that down, but right now I'm kind of in a rush and don't have time. So, coconut oil. And you just gonna mix it all together. And you can see like my oil, my my bar gum is turning a different color because of the oils. Now this is my first, my second time using coconut oil in my in my gel, just my personal gel. And personally, I like it. I like coconut oil anyway. I love the smell, and I love what it does for my hair. I love how it just adds that shine and that luster and that kick to my hair. So, after everything is completely mixed, I'm gonna bring my flaxseed gel back to the forefront. After it's completely mixed, this looks good. Let's put this back over here. I'm gonna show you what this, you guys what this looks like. It's really, I hope you guys can see that well. It's really slippery. So I just add it to the flaxseed gel. Now you don't have to use, use the xanthan gum or the guar gum if you don't want to. I just use it because even when I'm using my, for my personal use, I still use it because I don't want I, I don't I don't want it to be my oils to be separate from my gel. So I gotta mix this really 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 good. And it's gonna turn it, you know, turn it a different color. Flaxseed gel kind of looks like a a light tea. And before I start, I get everything out that I'm gonna be using. So my I'm take these off and basically done. But Everything that I'm going to be using for my storage containers, which if I have an overflow of product, I usually put it inside of a jar. Um, and these bottles, you can, these jars, you can get these from the Dollar Tree. These little bottles for your storage, you can get these from the Dollar Tree. These are three in the package for a dollar. And these funnels come with like three and then four dollars. It has a big size one, this size one, and a smaller one than this. So you can keep refilling your product. Now it is a little runny, it's slightly runny, and I'm gonna show you guys in a minute when I start pouring. But that's because it is still warm. It's going to thicken just a little bit. Now making it at home yourself, you guys, be reminded that this gel is only going to last you for about two weeks with everything that's in here because it's, it's water-based it will go rancid. You cannot keep make you cannot make products yourself at home and not use any type of preservative. If you would like to preserve your product, then you feel free to research the products online and what you need to do to preserve it. I have to do a lot of research. So you put the funnel in. Now you want to sanitize everything. If you want it to last as long, like bottles like this, you can just take some alcohol and put it on a Q-tip and rub the inside of it and everything and just let it completely dry before you get started. And, you know, alcohol on the funnel and everything. So that's what I do. I make sure everything is completely sanitized so it can last long. But you, two weeks will be good for this. So you see how it, it's gonna pour in here. I think I poured too much, I hope I didn't. And it'll just, go inside of there and it's a few flax seeds in there but I'm not really concerned because you know it's for me but if you just a stickler for not wanting flax seeds in there then I would recommend using cheesecloth and the strainer there you have it folks 
flaxseed gel. Yay! And it smells good. It smells like coconut. This right now smells like coconut. So you can use whatever oils you want. You don't have to use the oils that I just used today. Uh, the reason I have so much stuff out is because I'm about to make my daughter some moisturizer for her hair. So here it is right here. Flaxseed gel. I thank you guys for watching. It's still really warm. Um, I have another video coming out. Be on the lookout for my video that's coming. I will be showing you guys how to apply the Flexi Gel and why it's better used on, ooh, excuse me, clean hair. So I thank you guys for watching today. I hope that this encouraged you to make your own Flexi Gel at home. If not, you can always go to my Etsy shop. There's a little link there, down there below in the comment box. You can click on that. If you don't want to buy the flaxseed gel, but you want to make yours at home and you say, Melissa, can you just send me some, you know, send me some of the products so I can put it together myself? Just inbox me and hit me up and I can send you the ingredients for, for a, little, a little small fee. So I thank you guys for watching and I love you all. Stay blessed and remember to stay faithful to your natural.